Queen drops major bombshell on Harry's protection row over his dirty words threaten royal jubilee. Prince Harry claimed that he's ensuring his grandmother is protected, but the Queen has shown she's perfectly capable of looking after her security herself. I can disclose that the royal household is quietly seeking a new physical and technical security advisor. It advertised for the £50,000 per year position on the royal website, stressing that the successful candidate must have a good, current knowledge of national and international security. The advisor will be based at Buckingham Palace, but shall review security across all royal residences, including the Palace of Holyrood House in Edinburgh and Balmoral in Aberdeenshire. They will be expected to work with the Home Office, Metropolitan Police, and Homeland Security, too. The role includes consulting on personnel security and incident response, such as when a teenager was arrested on suspicion of breaking into the grounds of Windsor Castle carrying a crossbow on Christmas Day last year. Queen Elizabeth II arrives to view a display of artifacts from British craftwork company, Halcyon Days, to commemorate the company's 70th anniversary in the white drawing room at Windsor Castle, on March 23. The ad says, Security Liaison provides protective security advice and support. Joining this dedicated team, your role will focus on physical and technical security, ensuring the successful coordination and delivery of security measures for all royal household sites. As a subject matter expert, you'll be a key liaison point for the team. It comes at a time when Prince Harry is embroiled in a row over concerns about his family's protection in this country. He filed a claim for a judicial review into a Home Office decision to prevent him from paying for police protection for himself and his family during a visit to Britain. He wants to bring his son Archie and daughter Lilibet over from California, but fears they will be unable to return to his home because it is too dangerous, a representative said. Cara Delevingne is not the first top model in her family. And today she's mourning her colorful grandmother, Jane Stevens who has died at the age of 85. Known as Janie Sheffield, she was the muse of royal dressmaker Sir Norman Hartnell and a lady-in-waiting to Princess Margaret. She was stunning, elegant and had a great sense of fun, her daughter Pandora Delevingne tells me. A royal commentator suggests Prince Harry may not be present at the Queen's upcoming Jubilee celebrations following his shocking interview. Hilary Ford which has warned the contemptuous comments made by Prince Harry have placed his position at the Queen's Platinum Jubilee service in jeopardy. The royal commentator condemned derisive comments made by the Prince concerning the royal family. She highlighted recent statements made by the Prince to be contradictory and suggested an invitation to the Jubilee services may be revoked for Harry and Meghan. In an interview with American network NBC, the Duke of Sussex claimed his home was now in the States where he feels welcomed with open arms. Ms. Ford which warned declarations made by the Prince in the NBC interview were too contradictory to solidify his presence at the Diamond Jubilee celebrations. The Prince claimed he wanted to ensure the Queen was protected and his grandmother had the right people around her. The royal commentator condemned the statements of Prince Harry who chose to leave the nation with his move to the US. Ms. Ford which struck the inconsistency of the comments from the prince who chose to leave, his, grandmother as he stepped back from royal duties. The royal expert declared the interview given by the Duke of Sussex had further tarnished his image to the nation. Ms. Ford which announced royal family members have been left stunned by the declarations of Prince Harry, in particular Prince Charles is rather flabbergasted. She remained certain the engagement with foreign media has jeopardized the opportunity for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle to attend upcoming royal events. Meghan Mar